So we're gonna put some stuff in the hot pot? Yeah. What do we put in the hot pot? So for us, we're gonna put the goat's brain in it. Yeah, the middle one. You said goat brain? Yeah. Last time on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we discovered some next level roasted chicken. Oh, look at that. Look at this. There is a massive hot burning coal flame in the middle. Honestly, it looks kind of magical. We drank some normal beer in an extraordinary way. And this happened too. You need to shoot a food review show right here where we're shooting a food review show. Does that not seem ridiculous to you? Do you need to wear two bandanas? <laughs> Who is this guy? It's actually very delicious. They get some spices. But this time, it's all about the goat. Goat is quite popular. Yes. When's the last time you ate a goat? Um, three months ago. So you like to have a goat like quarterly? Because he uh, pork is more popular, but you know, goats will taste better. What is special about the goat? It would taste more chewier than pork. It's good for your health also. And of course, our drinking adventure wouldn't be complete without a plastic bottle full of some mysterious dark fluid. And we're gonna be trying some rice wine. Yes. It's okay to drink beer and rice wine in the same night? I suggest not. Okay. Yeah, but like, a nice day back like today, so why not? Location two, food two, and most importantly, drink two. Here we're gonna have some of the famous Bop Vietnamese rice wine. Right popular street foods here. Dude, you gotta, you gotta, gotta be kidding me. What are you doing here? I'm doing a food review, the same thing you are. What are you, you doing You're here? doing a food review for food that doesn't even belong to this restaurant. You're just in a random restaurant. That uh, makes a lot of sense. You have to leave my food review. We can't both do a food review in the Aren't same spot. Aren't you the guy who can't do the yummy face? I think it's it's him, right? No, you I can can't do, do the yummy face? I can do a yummy face. <laughs> I can do a really good yummy face. Can you? Yeah. What, do I need to show you? Why don't you show me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thought so. Bop Sao Day, wonderful dish. So I definitely got to try it here in Saigon. I freaking hate that Absolutely guy. Absolutely wonderful. Margarine, the corn, the spices all work together very well. Uh, and we're gonna also be trying some Vietnamese rice wine. We have come to the Goat Restaurant, and they have offered us some of their fine family secret delicacy, and that you you know, you know a wine is good if they give it to you in an Aquafina bottle. This is not mountain spring mineral water. This is some intense rice wine. It smells like medicine. Yeah, yes. It smells like some traditional Chinese medicine. It's very almost syrupy, and they said it has goat and herbs, goat gonads. So like the reproductive organs of a goat. You want to try some? Yes, of okay. course. I do cheers alcohol. Okay. Okay. So cheers. Cheers. Oh. Mm. So strong. It's a deep burn. Yeah. It's like black licorice. Yes. Have you ever had black licorice? Yeah, no, not yet. Have you? No, you don't. You can come up. You don't. Why did you go down? Have you ever had black licorice? No, not yet. Okay, it's like that. Pretty strong. I would say 35, 40%. That's real nice. You know, this place is very lively and energetic. I'm going to go ask somebody if they would like to take a shot with me. I'll be right back. Kai, come with me. No, me too. Ready? Mo, a, ba, o, hey! Oh. I think beer would be a good choice. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, Sunny, best ever food review show. I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, this place is awesome. Amazing atmosphere. People are pumped. They're excited. They're drinking. They're getting drunk. And what we're doing next is we're getting that goat and maybe a little bit more of this. Let's go. You are, you are, you are. We're about to eat some delicious goat meat, but you can't kick off a meal of goat meat without some more mysterious dark rice wine. Am I yeah, right? Yeah, so some more, huh? Are you very excited? Yes, can't wait. I'm very like equality minded. Just because you're literally half my size, that does not mean that you should drink half the amount of alcohol. Let's go for it. You ready? Yes. How do you do the cheers in Vietnamese? Mo hai ba yo. And together now. Mo hai ba. You know what? Everyone else was yelling. Can we yell? Okay. Yes. All right, ready? Can you join us? Do you want to join us together? Yes. Oh, hi, bye, yo. Yes. Okay, ready? One, oh, two, hi, bye, bye, yo! All right. Mm. Mm. 
it burns yeah. all the evil out of you. Yeah. I want to focus on this amazing meal before us. We have what is probably going to be a hot pot. It yeah. is hot. And that is certainly a pot. I know that from my culinary training. This is the goat breast. What is special about the breast part of the goat? So, you know, goat breast, it will be like more chewier than big breast. Nobody says I'm yes. getting some cow breast. Why do we say goat breast? But it is bread. Okay. So, guys, <laughs> don't, don't overthink it. We've got some breast here, and it's the breast of a goat. That's yes. all we need to know. And you know what? We just lost our hot pot privileges, so I hope you feel good about that. So we're gonna put it right on top. You can hear the sounds, right? Yeah, it's nice yeah. and crackly. Wow. Yeah. This brings me back to when yeah. I was a Vietnamese child. And put on some okra on also. Okra sounds really good and healthy. Right. And some morning curry here also. Good. They brought back our hot pot. I talked to a guy in back and I resolved the situation. Everything is cool. While the goat is cooking, do we do something with the hot pot? So is it boiling yet? Is it boiling? Yeah. Let's, Let's check. See. This is always a big point in my show. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows it's called the hot pot reveal. It's time for the hot pot reveal. I've got a little animation that's going to play now. Yeah. Let's wait for it. It's time for the hot pot reveal. The hot pot reveal, we all know this segment from my show. Is it boiling? Yeah. It's boiling. Yeah, it's boiling. Wow, it's boiling, guys. That was a great reveal. That's, what is that? Uh, that is, yeah, some innards. Innards of yes. a goat? Yes. This place is all about goats. Yes. This is hard to pick up. What is that? Mushroom. You oh, must know it. Thank God that is a mushroom. I thought it was something else. <laughs> Are you drunk already? A little. <laughs> That's some skin? Mm-hmm, yes. Okay, so basically, they threw this goat in a wood chipper. Yeah. <laughs> and then whatever and came out the other side, mm -hmm. they just put it in here. For us, we're gonna put the goat's brain in it. That is a goat brain? Yeah. Did this goat do meth? So we're just gonna slide the goat brains right yes. in there. This is probably my most fun moment of today. Let's get back to our hot pot segment over here. Close up, nice close up here, Kai. And we're gonna do the brain slide. Everybody knows this segment from my show. We call it the brain slide. Are you ready? It's time for the brain slide. And there it is, wow. Ooh. That was a successful brain yes. slide, I think. So this soupy white uh, <laughs> gloopy glop is uh -huh. medulla. Now slide to the left in the pot. Here we go. There's another mystery plate. What's in the, uh, what is that's that? That's the goat's innards. More goat innards. I am pumped, let me tell you about how pumped I am. That's kind of the fun part. They say, hey, look, we've constructed 90% of the soup, but we're gonna let you put the gloopy gloppy brain in yourself. Yes. And that's, I think that's a lot of, Fun. That's something I'm going to remember tonight when I'm sleeping. We're going to let that boil for a little bit, and we are coming back to our beautifully roasted goat breasts. From here, we take our rice paper, we're going to put on some of our cooked vegetables, maybe our yeah. okra, some of these herbs, and then put our goat in there yes. and roll it up. And oh, that is nice. It feels yeah. very hot, and uh, it's starting to get a little softer now, too. So we have this beautiful sauce with the fermented tofu and our chili oil over here. We're going to dip it in and just take a bite. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I'm gonna dip it in. Ready? Yeah. One, two, two three. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, this mm -hmm. is yumminess. Oh. Mm. Show me your yummy fish. Mmm. <laughs> it's pretty good. The goat has a really interesting texture. Mm -hmm. It's a little mushy. It's a little like squishy. I think squishy is the perfect word for it. The texture is squishy. You have the herbs in there, making it nice and fresh. The chili oil, I only used a little bit, and that added a ton of kick. The fermented tofu, when you smell it directly, it might be a bit much for some people, not me. But uh, that was actually really good yes. all together. So let's have a, one more yeah. bite. Oh, did you like it. Here we go. Yes. Mm. Oh, no. Goat rolls were amazing. They, Surpassed my expectations. Mm -hmm. Squishy. I've never had a squishy breast meat. Yeah. I, I liked it. Last part of our meal for today. We have this gorgeous hot pot. So now we put on some noodles. Put it all in there? Yes. Heck yeah, let's do it. The noodle shot. But next we're gonna put on some more tofu. Bam. And now we're gonna throw in some greens. Yeah, some green. Some spring onion also. We're gonna boil that up. Mm -hmm. How long do we need to wait for that? So just like one or two minutes because you don't want it to be. Two minutes later. So our greens have been boiling away. It's time for the last big hot pot reveal of the night. It's time for the hot pot reveal. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah. Nice and soft and hot potty or whatever. Oh, that looks nice. Some kind of innards and yeah. that is absolutely 
brain right there. Adding in some broth. Oh, there we go. We going deep. Yeah, just do it randomly. You want some brain? Yes, of course. You, your enthusiasm. <laughs> we had some goat breast, and now it's time for the rest of the goat. Yeah. This goat masterpiece, and I am starting with this piece of brain stem right here. That's the best brain I've ever had. Um, Shoot that guy. Thumbs up. We got a thumbs up, guys. The broth is so, it's, it's savory. It's, a, it's got a bit of fat in it. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of potent in a way that anything you throw in there is going to taste yummy. Yes. You can put a shoe <laughs> in here, and 30 minutes later, it's going to be yummy. I don't think so. No, you don't think so? Let's try another piece. I've got yes. a, uh, maybe some liver here. Mm, dang. And this is some more brain right here. Ooh. I'm not usually a hot pot kind of guy, mm -hmm. but this is outstanding. Yeah. The broth is almost like some kind of gravy. Oh, wow. you missed them all. Mm. I ate the whole thing. Here's what's gonna happen next. We're gonna eat all this food and we're not gonna show you. My bad. <laughs> but I do wanna say thank you so much for introducing me to all this awesome food yes. today. And for you guys, if you are interested in this kind of Vietnamese foodie experience, please hit up One Trip. They are putting on food tours in Saigon and Hoi An. They are amazingly delicious. You get to tour the city too. Links for that are in the description down below. If you like this video, throw me a sub. I'll see you next week. Oh! Incredibly spicy, but actually...